What is going on guys, it's Waffle here and welcome back to some more Bug Snacks. Now last time we left off, we were in the desert, the Scorched Gorge, saw a ton of new Bug Snacks over there, met a very shady guy named Kromdo who literally tried to sell us a bridge and we kind of broke that bridge, but he also sold us a lunch pad which was very useful. What was happening? Wait, hold on, is Wiggles crying? Or singing, I can't tell. Oh no, she's sleeping. Ew, look at that popcorn leg. Ew, that's so nasty. <laughs> she got a popcorn arm too. Ew. Oh yeah, we never did uh, come into here and scan her room. What is this? Able to play record player. Able to play a whopping two songs per giant discus. And what is the uh, wiggle says? Just wait till you hear it on 180 gram, 45 RPM, 4 XLP. The sound quality is so much better. Oh, she's one of those snobby types, huh? <laughs> How do we get out of this? There you go. What are what are the uh, the discs here? Dr <laughs> Grumford and Sons. What does that say? Oh, I can't tell with this angle. Grumpa Wamba. What is that? Oh, I can't see what the one under that is. We got a tambourine there, little ukulele there. Oh, can I scan the. Oh, I can scan the the, the disc over here. Grumford. Oh, I can actually scan Grumford and Sons vinyl <laughs> with such hits as The Cavern, Snack Eyes, and I Won't Wait. Can I scan the other ones down there? Oh, I can. Grumpa Wamba vinyl with such hits as Grump Thumping and nothing else. Okay. <laughs> I love these little, little, little small details that you can come across here. And yeah, she doesn't really have anything over here. She doesn't have a try. Oh, someone did say, hey, there. Oh, gosh, she's waking up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh yeah, we do need to interview her. Oh, whoa, what in the world? Wow, she's glitching out. She's still. Uh, she keeps like tipping up. Oh, now she's got a banjo out. What in the world? It's 4 a.m. You wake up, you do some weird glitches, and then you play the banjo for like five seconds, and then. <laughs> okay, well, let, let, let me go to the, the beach over here, because someone said there is a waffle bug snack, and I can't believe it. So uh, we need to go over here. We need to like ring a bell. Kind of like you should ring that bell to turn on post notifications, right? <laughs> oh, the shilling over here. Let's grab some chocolate, because I think we need it for this. Because someone said, hey, go to this certain specific area. Maybe during a certain part of the day, I'm not 100% sure. And then we got the raspies over here. Uh, is there anything new here, though? What was that thing up there? Oh, it's a lovely sweetie fly. Yeah, we already have those. It's got to be up there where Wiggle was previously. There's supposed to be like a bell that we could ring. And I'm not see Oh, wait, it's this. Can I hit it? Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, there's like tornadoes in the sea. Oh, is that the thing? Oh my gosh, that's the thing. Oh, oh, oh. Fishy bits, these pile of fishy bits is evidence of a bug snack. This bug snack seems to appear only at dusk or nighttime. Ooh, is this it? Oh my gosh, it's it. It's the waffle thing. It's got tornadoes. Oh my gosh. What is it called? What in the world? Waffle stack a rack. Summoned. Ah, get away. I'm going to attack myself. Summoned by the dinner bell. Wait. Why would I summon this thing with a dinner bell? <laughs> this is like a breakfast bell, I guess. It uses a twirling sausage leg. Twirling sausage leg! Ah, get out! Get out! We're gonna die! I'm gonna kill myself here, basically. Uh, to create localized- Oh, it keeps exiting me out of thing! Creates localized water spouse. How in the world does it do that? Uh, Philbo says, what an awful waffle! I agree! And I think it said it like chocolate there, so how would we- yeah, likes chocolate. Fears the... Oh, 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 it's the same thing. Hold on, hold on. Cover it with chocolate. Let the crab attack it. That's probably how we how we do it. Hold on. Cover it chocolate. Cover it chocolate. No! Oh my gosh, it launched a crab. Oh, it's launching seashells in the air and stuff too. Oh my gosh! Oh, the crab... Oh, 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 the crab is, uh... Is, is knocked out though. Three, two, one. Come on, come on, come on. No, get the crab. Get the... No! Where's the other one at? I thought I, I, there were like two of those waffle stack rack things. Or they go. Oh, 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 there it is. There it is. How do I. Fears the crab, loves chocolate. Oh, maybe. Okay, so maybe it's like the Spuddy where I can get two of these things. Oh, it's. The other one's knocked out over there. Hold on, hold on. We might be able to get that one. What is it? Is that another crab? Ah, get it. Oh, I got the crabble. Crabble. Where did the other one go? Is it in the water or something? What this? No, it's a seashell. Uh, I don't know where it is. Oh, 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 there it is. They're both there. Hold on. Put chocolate on you. Put a trail of chocolate over here. Lure the other one over here. Hopefully they hit each other. Boom. Come on, come on. No, I hit the... No, I hit the pineapple thing. 
Oh, it's like going woof 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 and then it's like spinning up. Come on, come on, come on. Hit each other, hit each other. Waffle stacker rack. They're going to hit each other. Nice. Oh, there we go. There's one launched. Can I go get it? Oh, I can. Let's go get the waffle. Oh my gosh. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get a waffle stacker rack caught. Waff stacker rack. Or a waff stacker rack. Is there another one around here? Can I get both of these? Waff stacker rack. Oh my gosh, I think it's just crazy. <laughs> now, is there anything else here though? There may be. Hold on, let's look at the, let's look at the thing. So we're here in uh, Simmering Springs. There's one more creature we haven't seen yet. This pile of fish. Oh, it's evidence of this. I need to come back at uh, 6 to 4 a.m. 6 p.m. to 4 a.m. That's what we saw, the evidence of this thing. I thought it might have been for the... Wa oh, whoops. It might have been for the waffle guy, but no. Oh, there's more over here. Oh, this has got to be evidence of the waffle, huh? Yeah, breakfasty bits. This syrupy pile of meat and bread is evidence of a bug snack. This bug snack seems to appear at breakfast time, but only one called on somehow. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't even see this uh, breakfast bell. Oh, see, it calls it a breakfast bell. Even though, it, like, in the description of the waff stack rack thing, it said it was a dinner bell. One of Wiggle's old triangles? Something might happen if it's rung in the morning. Ooh. Yeah, a lot of clues and stuff around here. Definitely want to keep scanning around. That's more uh, fishy bits there. It's probably something, yeah, we have to, like, see it in the water. I bet the waffle stack rack thing is, like, back in the water by now, right? Oh, look at that. Oh, can I launch myself up there and get another, uh, whatever that thing's called? Maybe. I guess I can go get more raspies or... How do we... peel back? How do we get this guy? Is he dead? It rolls up and hides inside holes or logs. They'll have to be pushed out somehow. It's, uh... I guess, I guess we have to get our ball to push him a little bit, but I, I suppose we can, uh... To the trap there. Oh, I just... Okay. I didn't have to push him with my thing. <laughs> Boom. Bug. Bill bug. I guess I could just pull, pull him out that way. Hold on, hold on. We got the Kiwi guy over here. I guess we'll get the Keeble. Weeble. Weeble cop. There you go. Push him. Come on. Keep going. Push it out. And then... Boom! We got it. Nice. So yeah, we're, we're adding more bug snacks to our collection here. Retrieve. Oh, whoops. Retrieve. So we can uh, give it to Gramble. And we, we have raspies over here we can get as well. Oh, then, yeah, we need to get, uh... Oh, there's no pineapple guy over here, so I can't get that crabble, unfortunately. But I can get these two raspies. There he is. Get that raspie. Let's wait until it goes back inside. Oh, and I need to look for more of those, uh... Those little, little, little snack pot things. Apparently, they, they hide in the shade here, someone said, so... Definitely want to keep my eyes peeled for that, but... Raspies. can Continue grabbing raspies here. Might want to get the, uh... The ball out. Scare that raspie out of the hole. The hidey hole, that is. There he is! And but oh god oh I, there's even a peel bug in there too nice hold on uh let's get that and let's get the trap back Raspy. no hold on we can get the other peel bug by go in there and then go back to the trap and boom all right yeah we're catching a ton of bug snacks here you guys it's crazy there you go uh oops retrieve there you go all right well if there's any more uh oh and by the way people were saying because i saw that thing and i edited it in the video it's like slow motion and stuff showing you guys hey there, there's that thing i saw Apparently, that's like some sort of... I don't know if I should give spoilers, because I, I guess technically I've been spoiled by it already. But it's apparently like some sort of rare thing. Does that thing scare me from this distance? And maybe we'll come across that, that, that thing I saw in the background again a little bit later. Weeble. Okay, we got another Queeble right there. Just, oh, we can get another... Uh, hold on. Oh, man, I almost got another Sweetie Fly right there. Or a uh, lovely Sweetie Fly, that is. I forget if you need the trap for these guys, or if you could just get them... Like, if they're just sleeping dormant like that, I guess I can get some chocolate while I'm here. There you go, re-up on that. Then we'll go back, and I definitely want to go back to the Scorched Gorge, and uh, finally go talk to Triffany, because remember, Triffany, the green person... Oh, yeah, you do need to get him with the trap. Uh, which is like, wham... Wha Wambo. Wha what was his name? Not Wambo. Not Rambo. <laughs> but, uh, Wambus, I think. I think, uh, yeah, Wambus. He... Oh, 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 do not be scared. No, 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 it went to the bush. No, I didn't get the Tropica bug. Ah, he's too scared now. All right, let's get that back. Can't get the uh, the pineapple. Can't bring a crab all the way up there, unfortunately. But yeah, we need to bring her back because he's uh, she's his wife. So let's bring her back. And it's a really sad situation. He's got like an actual literal cactus with like a, a vest on and like an explorer hat. And I really want to try and bring back Triffany. So let's go back to the Scorched Gorge here in just a moment. Oh yeah, and I guess we'll interview Wiggle because we forgot to do that. So hello. There you go. Let's talk to you. Let's have an interview. Have time for an interview? I'm no stranger to interviews, darling. Hit me with your best shot. Oh, that's going to be a copy strike right there. Start interview. Well, who are you? You've certainly heard my number one single, 
uh, do the wiggle? I don't know. Let me hear it first. I doubt she'll do it for free. I had it stuck in my head for a solid month. Exactly. I did. You see, Wiggle Wigglebottom needs no introduction, darling. Yep. Might come to Snack Tooth Island. Well, I'm here to gorge myself on a new life experience. To get my creative juices flowing, as it were. Doesn't seem like you're doing that good of a job. We, we had to turn, like, so many different body parts of you into different, like, food things to get your juices flowing. Yeah, so your juice isn't flowing, so it seems like it's all for nothing so far, so that sucks. So your juice isn't flowing. Oh, well... You know, no hit can stay on top forever. And I'm afraid the audience didn't care for Wiggle's World or Wiggle Baby one more time, and... <laughs> I've been accused of being a one-hit Wiggle. Ooh, that's some drama. Thoughts on bug snacks? Every taste is like a star going supernova inside my mouth. Creative energy like I've never felt before. Bug snacks are worth whatever price I have to pay, darling. Wait, what? I could have got paid for that? What price is that exactly? Bug snacks are forbidden fruits, darling. I believe something exists to keep us from them. She will come for me one day. But not before I dazzle the world once more. Yeah, you keep you keep telling yourself that. <laughs> Why did you leave town? That simple. I was following Gramble. He certainly knows his way around snacks. Yep, and uh, apparently you kept stealing them from him whenever you were. No, that was uh, Philbo. Whenever uh, Philbo was babysitting. I forget why. Oh yeah, whenever she, whenever uh, Gramble was sleeping, she'd take him from him. Are you using Gramble for his food supply? Ooh, she totally is. But let's see what she says about it. No, goodness no! I love Gramble. I would never. He's far too sweet, like a little strabby. <laughs> no, I would never take advantage of him, no matter how easy it would be. Yeah, I assume it'd be very easy. Maybe you have some experience in that. <laughs> Any info on Lisbert? Ah, Lisbert! She and Egabel were big fans of mine. You know, I met them backstage at my first farewell tour. They didn't have passes, mind you. Liz climbed in through the air ducts. But if somebody breaks the law out of love for my music, who am I to turn them away? Does that happen a lot? What happened to Lisbert? Yeah, does that happen a lot where fans just, like, crawl through air ducts to find you? <laughs> Not nearly as often as I'd like. What? Uh, okay, that's kind of weird, but I guess she wants me to crawl through air ducts to find her. I'm like, I kind of did. I went through all that stuff to turn her limbs into popcorns and grapes and her head into a giant pineapple. <laughs> what happened to Lizbert? That night, when Liz went missing, I ran into the woods looking for her. But instead, I found something terrifying, towering over the trees. The queen of buck snacks. Her screech was deafening, and I ran for my life. Wait a second. What is this queen of buck? Is that the thing we saw last episode? That I did like the slow motion and everything for, and I even talked about just earlier? What is this queen of buck snacks thing? Well, I can't be sure. All I saw was a menacing silhouette. But if Liz cross paths with that, that thing, then I fear for her. Well, it sounds like we're getting a lot closer, unless she's like exaggerating over here. It sounds like we're learning a lot more information about Lisbert's like possible whereabouts. So thanks anyways, Wiggle. That's a wrap. Ah, I feel the warm glow of free publicity. <laughs> I know my story about the Queen sounds far-fetched, but I swear on my platinum record it's true. If you don't believe me, go and see for yourself. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got music to make. Whoa, she gave us a new clue right there. Yeah, every time we interview someone, they give us a clue, which is great. Wiggle gave you a map to Liz's last location. Check your journal for details. Let's definitely do that. So where could this be? Is this a map of Snacks, uh... Oh god, what's she doing? Oh, pfft. Is this a map of Snack Tooth Island? 
Let's see. It would be over here, right? Yep, see, I'm navigating over here a little bit better. So there's the autograph. Wiggle's autograph. She gave that to us, I think, right? A signed headshot of Wiggle. I have no real use for this. <laughs> That's so savage. Do I, uh, can I not put that on my wall or anything like that? My ship that's crashed over there? I guess not. Befka's decoy dyer. I just grabbed that? I didn't, I, I thought I just took a picture of it, but I guess I just grabbed it. Okay. And then, where's the thing at? Oh, here it is, here it is. Oh, then here's another, uh, here's the diary key. Gr Gramble gave the small key that seems to go to a locked diary. It's probably going to be Befka's. And then we have the map right here. Sugar Pine Woods. Oh, wait, no. Sugar Pine Woods map. There's like a trail there. I, we haven't been there yet, but it looks like some sort of cabin there. Some sort of like watchtower, maybe a water tower there. And then a big open area here, like a gate and a fence. Hmm. All right, and like a, a small little pond right there, maybe an upper uh, plateau right there. And then over there is where apparently Liz went missing. I saw Lizbert looking down on camp between the trees beneath the snow line. Wiggle. Okay. This is going to be, this is probably the most helpful thing thus far, to be quite honest, so that's good. All this stuff over here, Grump PDI. There's still four people we have yet to uh, to find, so that's going to be interesting once we figure out who they are, and we're probably going to find them in the other locations. So one of these is Sugar Pine something, right? Hmm. It's probably going to be like here, here, or here, because this is probably like another beach area here, like Simmering Springs was. So, oh yeah, and that bridge from Scorched Gorge probably goes to this area over here, but it's like broken now, so I wonder, uh, I wonder if we do the popsicle legs thing for... Uh, what is his name? Cromdo. If he'll open up the bridge, we can go across it. And still can't speak of the bridge. Can't go across that bridge, so... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go drop off the bug snags that we have right now. Because we're actually getting pretty full on our inventory, so... Uh, might as well just drop them off, donate them. So, uh, two orange peel bugs. Two rasbies. Drop those bad boys off. And let's let's put the... Uh, the, the wa What's it called again? Waff stack rack. <laughs> or, uh... Yeah, it's a rack. All right. Put them in there, and there you go. Snack pack upgrade. The size of your heart has grown, and so is your inventory space. It can't get any bigger, but doting was still a nice thing to do. All right, well... Oh, and there's Wiggle again. Oh, wait, what, wait, what does she want? Hey, buddy. Hey, Philbo. What should I do? Nope, goodbye. Have a good one. What does Wiggle want? Oh, she probably has, like, a personal, like, a... Mm -hmm. Whenever we come back to Snacksburg, everyone seems to have the uh, mission for us to do. So let's see what Wiggle wants. And maybe we'll be able to help her out while she's, uh, while we're in the desert over there. Need something, Wiggle? But if you're not busy, darling, I could use a helping paw. I know. It seems like your run-of-the-mill bug snacks aren't getting my creative juices flowing. I need something... Oh, spectacular! I overheard Wambus talking about a sandopede. A snack made of many pieces working in harmony. That may be just what I need. We've seen... Oh, yellow submarine. We've seen the sandipede uh, over here. Catch two sub sandipedes. Yeah, remember, that's the giant sub sandwich. But I think the sub sandipede is like this individual segments of the, the main... Oh, man, look at all those bug snacks now. Holy heck. Of the main uh, sandipede. I don't think it's this area, is it? Yeah, there, there are those... those guys. Oh, whoa, 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 what's that thing? It's a can of soda! Dr. Sodi, this carbonated bug, sprays a watery jet at any sauce it sees! Hates fire, hates ketchup, hates uh, chocolate, hates ranch. How do we get this thing, though? Can we just trap it? I, I guess we can test it real quick, get the snack trap. There's a... Wait, no, 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 oh, oh! No, it's not going to work, the, the bunger is too mad at me, hold on. It's, gonna, it's just gonna swim around. It's just gonna swim back and forth, I guess. So, oh, hold on. Hold, oh man, hold on. What is, what is the bunger not like? Maybe the bunger can uh, knock into the to, into the coke thing. Okay, well it loves ketchup and oh, I, I guess I can cover him in ketchup. Speaking of such, I'm really low on ketchup. Might as well grab some more over here. There you go. There's a lot of stuff over here. What time is it right now? 10 a.m. So this thing this thing must be like a, a morning sort of thing here. So let me cover the thing in ketchup. It hates ketchup, it doesn't like being covered in anything, but the bunger better be attracted to it, and I should be able to pick it up. Oh, wait, hold on. I just pick him up now. Wait, what? Uh, never mind, there you go, I got it, Dr. Sodi. Sodi! Sodi! Like a little bit of Yoda in there. <laughs> Let's put the, uh, put this away. Oh, put it, put the, put it away, there you go. Get some more ketchup because we're really low on ketchup right now, and I guess we'll go grab that uh, sand. But I think the thing we have to do there is let something attack it, and then its individual segments will all like become uh, obtainable, which is great because we have so many inventory spaces right now. Like what, 18 or something like that? I don't even know. I I, I think so. Oh, another uh, white shrabby right there we can get. 
But yeah, yeah, look at this. Nine and then nine over there. So we do have 18, so that's great. I guess we'll get the white sand or uh, white shrabby there. Whoa, get him, get him, get him, got him. Haha, -ha, another white shrabby. Shrabby. All right, let's go back to the other area over here. Let's go grab the sub sandalweed. As well as anything else that may be over here. We, uh, surely we've got to be pretty close to getting everything over here in this, this first area. Because we have only one creature we haven't got in the, 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 the beach area. So, if anything, I'm probably just going to need ketchup or something. Something to attack the sandwich guy. And there's a white rootle. Oh, 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 hold on. So, what is what is this this guy? Loves mustard, loves ranch. But is there anything here that will actually attack him? I don't, there are no bungers. That thing is just kind of scared. Ranch dressing full. I think something up there attacked it, though. So what would it be? Would it be the flying thing? If so... What was it? Uh, the olive thing? Loves mustard. I don't have mustard. Or whatever that would be. Hmm. Oh, it's this thing! It was this thing! Hold on, where's the sandopede at? I could lure him over to here. And he could attack the sandopede. Likes to walk... Oh, oh, I, I can't. oh, there's the sandopede! There's the sandopede! Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, what is this? What is this thing like? Not like? Uh, loves ranch, so let me cover him in ranch. There you go. Hit the hit up, hit the sandwich in ranch. The whole thing's covered in ranch. Holy heck, that was crazy. I guess I have to wait for the sub sandpaper to get back over here. Oh, there we go. Hold on, get another, get another segment. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. I need to go get the the main. There we go. Got the head. Oh, I get the sandpaper, the main one. Sandpaper. Sandpaper. I need to get a- oh my gosh, cover them all in, uh, ranch. There you go. And speaking of such, let's get some more because we're running out. There you go. And hopefully that ranch stays on it for a little while, and that lettuce wrap thing will attack it again, but... We have one- oh, okay, so the front of the sandipede still counts. I don't have to- I don't have to get the middle or the whatever else segment. Oh, yeah, okay, the ranch wore off, unfortunately, so that sucked. But, uh, here we go, here we go. Attack it, attack it, attack it, attack it! Get him! Yes! Yes! We got him! We got- oh wait, just one! Just one Sandopede has been, uh, captured right there. Hold on, there's two more segments right there. One might get attacked. Ah, uh, if they're not going to get attacked, I'm not going to go up to- Oh, there's another, uh... Snack pad- how do I get that snack? Oh, I probably have to launch myself. Ooh. Let's do that, we have the lunch pad now, so that's good. Oh, yeah, if anything, I could have lunch padded myself upwards. That would have saved us a little bit of time. There you go. Grab that. Where did that go? That snack pack I just saw. Snack pod. I do not know. But yeah, I might as well like launch myself up there. I can, uh, how do I, how do I do that? Aim up there, I guess. Then just launch, and then boom. Yeah, that kind of worked. Oh, there it is, behind the waterfall. Ooh. Can I even launch myself all the way over here? So, uh, the, oh, come on, there you go. Got the lunch pad back, that's good. Let's get that, and then aim to that. See, I, can, I don't think I can. Like, if I get on this, then launch myself. Yeah, I can't... Oh, man. Yeah, I can't reach that, unfortunately, so that sucks. But we did get the two sub sandipedes, and then feed the two sub sandipedes to, uh, whatever her name is. So I guess we could do that. The white rootle there. I guess we can catch that thing real quick. Uh, let's retrieve it. Uh, oh, 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 something's happening over here. What happened? Something needs my attention. I don't know what it is. So we'll, uh, crawl. There you go. What happened over here? Oh, well, there's another lettuce wrap thing here that was attacking this this guy. Can I catch him? Might be able to. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I got the I got the pickle thing again. I got the pinkle. Pinkle. And I can get the lettuce wrap thing now, so that's good. I can get him out. Come on. Oh! Oh, it's knocked. It not. I, I knocked. I don't know how, what. I have no idea what happened right there. I either knocked it out with a trap or it knocked itself out. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, let's go back to to Wiggle. Then let's finally go back to uh, to the desert and talk to Triffany. Cause golly, we've been <laughs> we've been putting that off for a little while. Forget about the white rootle. Uh, we have a lot of inventory space though, but I don't think we have to fill up our inventory every time, right? But yeah, let's just go back. Look at all those bug snacks. Golly, bags of chips, literal waffle stacked with sausages and stuff. It's crazy. All right, let's just go back. Oh, we have another hot dog over here. I did get some comments from you guys saying, hey, what happens if you turn one Grumpus into just? Oh, there's another snack pot up there into nothing but one, uh, like, bug snack. I might as well launch myself here. I guess we could try it out with Befica. Uh, aim, then launch. There we go, crispy snack pod. Right after I'm like, oh, I don't need to go out of my way to get every, uh, every bug snack. Here I am getting two more of them. <laughs> well, let's go back, and I guess we can go feed a, a weenie worm to Befica. 
turn another one of her arms or something like that into a heckin' <laughs> pot dog. <laughs> then, of course, let's go feed those two sub centipedes to Wiggle. All right, we're back at Snacksburg. I know I've got a pretty good uh, full inventory right now. I guess I can donate a couple things we already have, like the weebles. Sure, there you go. And, uh... I don't know if I need anything else. I'll keep some stuff in my inventory just in case anyone wants anything random. I already have a couple things, and I have a pretty big inventory. So I don't need to worry about the- oh, I need to make room. But let's get the two sub sandopedes. Or just sandopede. Uh, let's turn her whole le right- or left leg into a heckin' sandwich. There you go, sub sandopede. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. Oh, I can feel the harmony building within me. But I'm still not quite there. What? I'm sure this seems excessive, but it's just, it's the, it's the creative process. Do you know how I wrote Do the Wiggle? No, but do tell. Hard work. What are you doing, Philbo? <laughs> you awkward. Just walking between our conversation. No, but do tell. I stumbled into the studio two hours late. I hadn't slept in five days, and I was holding a banjo for some reason. I couldn't remember my own name, much less what I was going to sing. So in my haze, I just made it up on the spot. Two weeks later, I had a platinum record, and apparently, I'd invented banjo pop. Needless to say, it's been a hard act to follow. Hmm. You know what? I just thought... Can we go to her thing and play the record player? I want to see if I can actually hear the thing and maybe get a copy strike while I'm at it. No, I can't. Man, that would have been really cool. Can't play either of those. I'm still completely naked with a big old beer gut. <laughs> let's let's go to the desert now. Let's finally go tie to Trifony and uh, turn Chrome to. Yeah, we can't do that one. Let, let's see if we can uh, highlight a different uh, quest here. Which one was it? This one? Yeah, quests. Uh, Trifony bones up. I guess we'll do that one. How do I favorite it or uh, pin it again? Can I not pin it if I don't know, or if I haven't started? I guess I can't do it because I haven't started the quest in general. But let's go over here and let's go talk to Trifony, the archaeologist looking person. That's like over here right to the right. Another Chipoof up there. Scorched Gorge. We have another jalapeno thing there. Pop picks down here. Let's go talk to her and let's go see what she has to say. I wonder if there's anything here that, uh, yeah, what was our progress real quick though? On the uh, creatures here in Scorched Gorge. That's the wrong thing. I keep looking at the wrong thing. Uh, Summering Springs, Scorched Gorge. 9 out of 12 captured 7 out of 12. There's a, there's still a hot dog over here and a bag of chips and something. I don't know what that is, so... Hmm. Guess I'll have to keep my eyes peeled for that, but let's go over here and let's go talk to Trifony. Hmm. Yes? Oh, goodness. Huh. I didn't notice you there. Hi, how are ya? I'm Trifony Lotteblog. You caught me doing some archaeology. Try not to step on the skulls, ya? Yeah? Man, I did not expect her voice to sound like that. Will you come back to Snacksburg? Just get straight to the point. <laughs> you want me to come back to Snacksburg? Gosh, look around ya. There's a whole civilization buried here, and I barely dug one hole. But I could use a trip to the old research tent once I get a few samples. See these skeletons? Something's fossilized in their stomachs. Looks a bit like a local bug snack. I'll need some live ribblepeeds. If you wouldn't mind, could you help me find some? They like to hide on the walls in these here ruins. That should be easy. Unfortunately, I've already donated all my ribble peeds, but I do know one was over here. Boom, another one. I think it like barbecue or uh, hot sauce. I wonder if there is barbecue sauce, though. I do like barbecue sauce on heckin' ribs, though. It's pretty delicious. Oh, it's scared of me, but I'm trying to stay stay my distance so it goes into it. There you go. Gets attracted to hot sauce. Boom, one ribble peed. We need to get three. So we need to go get two more. I do know a location where we had another one. I forget where it was specifically, but it was like on the other side, wasn't it? It was like on the wall. I think it was on the lower area, so I don't know why I'm going up here. <laughs> Maybe I should go around and, uh... I'm like, it kind of blends in with the walls a little bit, so I do need to be careful with that. There's some more hot stuff. I might as well grab some. Probably should have grabbed some more uh, of everything when we were back at the camp, but I think it was uh, on this wall, was it? Oh, yep, there it is right there on that wall over there. That's where it was. So let's go over there. Let's go get some more hot sauce again. Get another rib ribble peed, as well as uh, put the trap about right here. The hot sauce on the trap itself. There you go. Hopefully not get hit by a heckin- Oh, there you go. Not get hit by his buddy. And there's two ribble peeds. Ribble peed. That's two ribble peeds right there. Nice. Now I just need to figure out where the third is going to be. It's going to be kind of tough to see where that one would be. I guess I could read about him. 
see if I could learn anything more about them and, and potentially figure out where they actually... Oh my gosh, 76,200 calories. Holy... And it does make sense. It's got ri or it's got bones coming out of uh, the Rebelpede, so it makes sense why the archaeologist lady wants these. It likes to hide and sit still. Maybe some sauce could get it to move. Yeah, but where specifically does it like to hide? Like, it was, I guess in the shade, maybe? There's maybe one in this crevice. There's going to be... Oh, wait. Oh, oh that's a windmill up there. I thought I saw another one right there now. Hmm. Definitely need to go find another one of these ripple peats. Oh, I did get comments. Hold on. I just thought. I did get comments from you guys saying, Hey, why don't you get the spuddy to break this wall? So maybe we could do that. It kind of like we got the spuddy to, to angrily sprint towards the bunger, the barbecue bunger, and knock it out that way. Perhaps we could do the same thing here. Just get them aggroed on us. There you go. And, oh. It worked! It worked! You guys were right! Oh my gosh! Ooh, what in the world? What in the world are these things? Scan them! Hold on, no, get the, uh, get the trap. Can I, can I get that thing? What is that? Shy weenie worm. Weenie worm. It just knocked out a weenie worm! What are you doing? Oh my, ah, it hit me! Weenie worm. There's gotta be... Another ribble bead over here. No, we're not seeing one. I don't know if I did that a little bit too early, or if, uh... Oh, I can't crawl into that. Maybe I shouldn't be reading certain comments telling me to do certain things, but I feel like I might have done this a little bit too early, but at the same time... I don't know, there isn't really anything too crazy, uh, like, secret in there, quite honest. But that was a very helpful tip, thank you guys very much. Because we got some brand new crap. what are we up to now? Like, 11 or something like that? No, 10. And we captured 8. 10 out of 12, 8 out of 12 captured, and still a bag of chips and something else that we're missing. So we found the hot dog thing. It's just that some- you'd think there'd be a ribblepede in here, but I guess not. Oh, maybe there's another one in the other... One of these, like, adobe pueblo thing. Oh, there is! Oh my gosh. I'd literally just say that out loud and then boom, there's one on the wall. Hold on, we, we're really close to it, we need to get away. Boom! There you go, perfect. <laughs> oh man, I almost just strained my throat trying to do that. <laughs> and it was to talk to, uh, Triffany over here. Oh, I can't talk to her, what in the world? Oh, it's probably because I got the- hold on, put it away. There you go, now can I talk to her? What was I doing again? Let's eat. Let's feed her the three ripple peas. Now, what are we going to do? What can I do with her? Okay, I could just do right hand, left, like, a little foot and stuff. I guess I could turn her hand- Ooh. Oh, god, ew, ew. Let's feed her on another one. There you go. Uh, her whole arm. Ew, ew, that looks nasty. Ew. Maybe I shouldn't make, like, whole limbs into, like, one thing. <laughs> It, li it literally looks like, uh, like, like, like she's a zombie or something. Like bare bone with m m exposed meat. Ugh. Now what can I, I guess I can make her arm into it again, or maybe a foot or something. Ugh. Ooh. Ah, man, that's nasty. Ugh. Oh, that's curious. Ribblepeeds only look like they have bones. They're squishy all the way through. Mm. So what did these fellas eat then? Well, like Grandma always said, if you want answers, dig through their sock drawer. I want to get into that dwelling over there, but the door's blocked up. If you could do something to get that door open, that'd be real swell. Okay, so we already know the answer to this, thanks to you guys. Seems like I was just like a one step ahead. Now, where was this door she was talking about? Was there a door in here? No. Or maybe I can launch rocks and that'll, that'll open it up as well. I guess I can grab one and we can test that too. But there's no door in here that I know of. Must be another one around here. But there was a door over there that we brought. Oh wait, it was over here. Oh. Let's get the lunch pad. Oh, I can't get the lunch pad while I have that thing. Uh, lunch pad. We can test this out. And then if it doesn't work, we can get the spuddy to uh to do it. So, boom. Oh, God. Right as I say that, there's the spuddy. <laughs> All right, let's do oh, whoa. We're going, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, oh, we didn't angle him right. Man. Hold on, here we go, here we go. And then jump! Oh, there you go, we opened it! Nice! Awesome, let's get the lunch pad back, retrieve it. Oh my gosh, there's like, cave drawings over here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, talk to Trifony. What's in here, though? Uh, hot sauce and stuff. Is there anything in here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, yep, yeah, I can take a picture of that. Desert Ruin Mural. This mural depicts Grumpus is opening a section of wall near the river. They were carrying some sort of parcel. Is that, is that the one that we opened up? Why is there, like, a pizza butterfly thing there? Uh, because I didn't see it, unless, perhaps... 
That thing's still attacking me. Does it? Oh, get away, get away, get away. Go up here so I can scan that thing. That Spuddy's still attacking me <laughs> in the background. Does it ruin mural? Yeah, he's attacking the rocks now. This mural detects... Uh, oh, it's the same thing. What about this one? I can't scan that one. Can't scan that one. Oh, wait. Oh, it just does that one and that one. Okay. Still just attack me. <laughs> Let's go talk to Trifony and see what she says about this. But well, that's pretty cool, though. So what if we go back over there, perhaps at nighttime, we're going to find this butterfly pizza-looking thing. I opened up the ruins. Oh, you're too kind. Meet me inside. Yeah, I was already inside there, and I scanned it and everything. Dr. to Trifony. Uh, ugh, that's so nasty. Oh, she has actual exposed bones, but apparently those bones aren't like actual bones. or just like actually like squishy or something. Oh, what does she have to say about the murals? What are you looking at? Check it out. These murals are still preserved. As far as I knew, we were the first grumps to settle this island. But here we got a thousand years of history unaccounted for. Generations of grumpuses who hunted and ate bug snacks. Just a cosmic reminder that nothing really lasts, eh? Hmm, what's this? Looks like there's a hidden chamber somewhere in the canyon. Could that be where they stored bug snacks? Would you mind finding that chamber? And if there's bug snacks there, please bring them to me. Talk to you later. All right, well, we already did that. Yeah, we got the, the shy weenie worms. Can't talk to her just yet, I guess. Hold on. Oh, it's because I got the weapon out. Or because she's running. <laughs> and we can give her... Yeah, I've got two out of the one weenie worm. Now I just need to feed it to her, and I guess we can turn her whole leg into a weenie worm or something. Feed. There you go. Uh, yeah, a little bit ahead right there. Probably shouldn't have uh, listened to you guys' comments there. <laughs> but nothing too crazy. At least it was only like, I don't know, like five minutes before we're actually going to do it legitimately. So nothing too crazy. <gasps> nothing against you guys. Let's do another, uh, I guess we could do a whole left foot. It could be a sandwich. Oh, cool. Ugh, that looks so nasty. The taste is a little off. I'm wondering how long those snacks were in there. Did you find anything else in the chamber? A massive trap pit. Did I see that? A lot of corpses. Well, I did see some bodies. Yeah, a lot of corpses. Hmm, that's a little intense for an ancient storage shed. You know, that just might have been a burial chamber. But if that's where they put their dead, why are all these bones out in the open? Hmm, well, I gotta solve this mystery. Sorry, but I won't be going back to Snacksburg. Man, what about Wambus? Oh, man. Should I bring him up? Is her husband? Or I assume, I, I don't know if they have, if, yeah, I think I think she, or he referred to uh, Trifony as her, his wife. So I think they're married. Anyways, yeah, what about Wambus? Philbo needs your help. I doubt she gives a butt about Philbo, probably less of a butt about Wambus. Let's, uh, I guess we'll do Wambus, because at least they're married, right? Supposedly still. If Wambus wants me back, well, he can come out here and tell me himself. Ooh. <sighs> you might have heard things haven't been too good between us. I keep telling myself I'll get around to C&M, but it's just easier to, uh, stay out here with the bones. <laughs> what about your research tent? Uh, you have to come back eventually. Wambus dressed a cactus to look just like you. I don't think I should tell her about that, honestly. That's kind of... I'm like, it was, a, it was a... Well, it was kind of out in the open, but it was also inside of his house, so you know, you expect a little bit of privacy there. Yeah, what about your research tent? She did say, yeah, every now and then I need to go back to the research tent. So yeah, what about the research tent? You got a point there. If I happen to see Wambus while I'm working, maybe we can catch up. I thought maybe time would help, but time's just pushing me closer to the grave and I'm not feeling any better. I suppose I could try being among the living for a while. All right, there you go. She's back to Saxburg. complete. Yeah, she's, she literally had one foot in the grave right there. <laughs> or maybe even both feet in the grave whenever that happened. But that's awesome. We got Trifony back. I wonder if the, uh, the other bridge is now open, though. Is everything here done? Oh, wait, you know, yeah, we still need to do the crom... Yeah, cold feet. Still need to do the cromdo thing to get the, uh... Well, we can't do that until we get to the ice biome. So maybe we'll do that here. Maybe next episode or something like that. Because this episode, once again... Every episode seems to be about 40 minutes long. <laughs> oh! There they are! They met up! You're back. Oh. Had to come by and pick up supplies. Is that a new garden you got there? Yep. Are you gonna stay for long? Well, that depends. There any reason for me to stick around? Man, Trivi, I'm sorry. I've been a dang fool. Yep. It's just, I can't grow much out in that desert. Yeah, 
And you got a lot of growing to do. I wasn't gonna give up my dig site either. We may have different goals sometimes, and we may not be in the same place. But that doesn't mean we're not together. I guess I could leave my farm every now and again and come see your dig site. Uh, maybe even lend a helping paw? You better. Now give me a kiss, you hot dish. Gladly. Mm. <laughs> Welcome home, Triffy. Let's hope the cactus doesn't get jealous. What's that now? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Oh, he brought it up anyways. All right. Well, anyways, this episode is getting pretty long. We can interview her, uh, Triffany, next episode. Oh, gosh. She, I want to follow her and see what, if she sees the cactus. Is this Everybody his house? Okay. Hold on, hold on. Is she going to oh. react to it? No, she's just going to go to bed. Is the cactus still here? You put her up? No, it's still there. That's... It looks just like her. It's in little green, just like her. And they're sleeping in the same bed. You guys. Did we get the, the good ending here? I feel like we might have. I'm, I'm glad I I wonder what would have happened if I was like oh yeah he's got like a cactus that's dressed up as you I wonder what he would have she would have said about that that would have been probably would have uh turned her away from coming back to snatch where to be quite honest <laughs> let's get ourselves literally everything over here like I wanted to do so there you go nice all right well either way like I said we could end off the episode right here and when we come back oh let's go check if this is open it's still not open probably need to go talk to uh Cromdo to open that up but how do we get to Crom how do we do that if that's closed I don't know, I guess I'll we'll have to figure something out. Philbo wants to- wait, hold on, Philbo wants to talk to me. Where is he? Oh, he's- no, he's in bed! Okay, well, we can talk to him next episode, but maybe, maybe that'll have something to do with, uh, that opening up over there, and that's probably gonna lead us to the mountains, which is gonna lead us to, uh, the ice popsicle whatever. <laughs> See Gramble in the background starting to sleepwalk. And that'll probably lead us to the, uh, to the ice, uh, popsicle legs or whatever that we need to get for Gromdo. But either way, like I said, I think we can end off the episode right there. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. <laughs> be sure to hit that subscribe button. Now to put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. Rosby. Oh my gosh, these things are so cute. And be sure to hit that bell as well, because I'm still uploading this series just completely randomly, and even sometimes like every day when I have extra time to play it, because I'm heckin' addicted to this game, just like the Grumpuses are addicted to bug snacks. What about the snack bot? Snack bot. Snack bot. And there's still nothing over there. Is there uh, anything new over here? No, it's Shrabby and uh, Queeble and Peelbug and uh, the Love uh, sweetie fly right there. See, I'm starting to slowly learn every everything's names, so that's pretty good. There's still no progress over here growing the, uh, the bug snacks, though, so that kind of sucks. Hopefully you didn't actually suffocate a strabby trying to do that. <laughs> but either way, I already did the outro there, so thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more bug snacks. Oh, bye there.